everybody, it's your old friend Ox. So coming back to you again for another X-ray and VAB reaction. So I appreciate everyone understanding about me taking off uh, two days in a row. I just wanted to kind of spend time with friends and family, just kind of just enjoy myself. Um, and just do, you know, Memorial Day things, you know how it is. So, um, so we're getting back into it with X-ray and VAB, Season 2, Episode 5, The Madness of the King. Um, as I discussed yesterday, if you didn't catch or watch the video yesterday, um, some things we do have to bring up, just in case you missed it. Like I said, um, my channel got its first copyright strike because I was looking to do um, Steven Universe. And I put it out there, and it got blocked. I was like, okay, I'm tired of getting blocked. I'd like to know what is causing this block. So I sent, I said, hey... I don't mind being monetized. You know, I am doing it within fair use because I am doing commentary on the video itself. And it wasn't even public. It was in my private section. So it wasn't even up to where anyone else could see it other than myself. And they yoinked it like a boss. I mean, it was crazy how fast they yoinked that when I, when I put out there all this stuff. But it wasn't... I don't think it was... The United States one. I think it's the Japan because it said Japan on it. So I think that's part of the problem. That a lot of these shows that I do that I want to do have licensing through um, different companies that are in Japan that don't care whether we have fair use or not. So that's probably what did it. So it's fine. Like I said, you know, going forward, if we do anything uh, more with Steven Universe and um, My Hero Academia and other shows I want to do. It's just going to go up on my Patreon. Um, so, excellent, folks. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry about the rant. I just want to let you guys girls know what's going on. So, uh, let's continue. Superheroes. Really? Yes, ma'am. This is official superhero business. Okay, fine. You can see the patient. But you have to play by my rules. <laughs> do not, under any circumstances, approach the cell. Do not take anything from the patient. And most importantly, if he asks you a question, do not answer. He is an expert at psychological coercion. You don't want this guy in your head. Not to worry. If anyone's immune to psychological manipulation, it's me. To what do I owe this pleasure? There are some questions you need to answer. How completely desperate you must be to have turned to me. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's cut to the chase. We don't have all day. Oh, but I do. I have all the time in the world, thanks to you. You can choose to be helpful, or you can be a knobhead. It doesn't matter one way or the other. Don't try to play me. I saw the look on your face when you walked up. You weren't expecting me, of all people, to be the one in this cell. You're in way deeper than you dare admit. That's some great insight, your majesty. Keen powers of observation are key to learning about those around you. For instance, you wear Draco Sombra aftershave. And you use Ledoux hand lotion, but only on your right hand. Uh, oh. Just want to know about Mogar. Ah, so he's made himself known to our fair city. Forgive my ignorance, I was cut off from the newspaper after murdering my second guard in a two-week span. Nice. Do you know anything about him? More than you, likely. But I'm curious about you. Yeah, nice try. You're not getting into my noggin. You're right. You're probably too dumb to answer my questions anyway. Oh yeah? I can answer questions. Watch me. Let's start with the obvious. Why did you come here alone? That's not how it's gonna work, Mad King. I'm the one asking the questions here. I'm taking charge of this mess. Fab is distracted. He's just... Never mind. Please, go on. Well, there's this <laughs> reporter, and Fab obviously has a crush on her, so he's willing to look past her meddling behavior, but she's just trying to further her career through this whole thing. You think she's clouded Vav's judgment? Why were you trying to contact him? Sympathy exercise. Write to someone in need, expressing regret at their situation. But how did you know about his situation? 
You'd be surprised how much information you can get from people who are willing to give it. And Man. then the reporter showed up, burned down Mogar's treehouse on accident, and now he's probably gone forever. Mogar is getting weaker. How very interesting. Hey, can we focus uh -oh. on my problems, please? So when I was 12, I started noticing changes. Do you know who likely kidnapped Mogar's mother then? One of the privileges I have left is access to the archive library. Here's everything that references cases, stories, and records that could have to do with Mogar. You might find a lead on who took his mother in here. I will give it to you. Thank you for cooperating. If you tell me something, why are you friends with X-Ray? Uh, well, what? And ever since then, I've been afraid of birds. You think that's important? You want to know what I think about you, X-Ray? I think you've been lying to yourself. Your father left when you were young, packed up and abandoned you. You've been feeling alone ever since. But it's been years, and you haven't grown up a bit. You want to show him you're just fine without him, but you know you're not. It's just a matter of time before Vav comes to the same realization, that you're just holding him back. And when the wow. time comes for him to choose who he really cares about, he'll cut you loose. Just like dear old dad. Then you'll just be alone with your pet rock. Uh, how did you know about Dwayne? I didn't. Nice! <laughs> Tell me who took Mogar's mother! I can't help you, X-Ray. No one can. He's very... Tick-tock, Vav. Well, I don't know. We've just always been mates. Ever since we were little. You don't think you've outgrown him? Outgrown him? You're smarter, more logical, more caring. When you were young and had no one else, it seemed natural to be friends. But you've grown up and matured. Oh, wow. It must be difficult having him hold you back from your full potential. Doomed to be the butt of newspaper headlines for the rest of your lives because no one can take you seriously. No. No, of course not. We're a team. Of course you are. Take it. Good luck, Vav. Is he trying to put them at ends with each other, though? Samaya, good work on the Mooger stories. Mooger. Thank you, sir. I really feel like it's a very interesting and complex story. What with the search for his mother... Yeah, it's been helping to push a lot of copies. We need you to keep it up. Oh, uh, well, th the last story is all I've got until there's another development. How about you press your contact Vav for something? I don't want to intrude. You should take advantage of having him as a source. The closer you can get to him, the more he'll reveal. Understand? That's, uh, not really how I want to do things. Samaya, listen. This is the kind of story that makes careers. Yep. And papers. If you want local happenings to succeed, we need you to succeed. That's the best form of job security, wouldn't you say? I suppose so, sir. Glad you understand. Good talk, Samaya. Oh, no, now he's got a complex. That, man, I have the weirdest... Look what I got! The Mad King was the one at the Institute. He gave me a bunch of archive stuff that could help us out. You went to see him? He helped you? Yeah, he was weird, but it worked out. Yeah. Hey, did he, like, say anything to you? Uh, no, not really. X-Ray and Vav Rescue Hotline, what's your emergency? Oh, yeah, he's right here. It's your girlfriend. Hello? Nice. Yes, it went very well. I've got loads of new potential clues to go through. Yes, I'll be right over. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, Ash wanted to go over the new evidence. See where it gets us, you know. Well, can I come? I don't know. It's going to be really boring. It's not really no. your cup of tea. Aw. <laughs> it's Pet Rock. You came. Today must be my lucky day. What is it you want? I can help you. I know who has what you're looking for. Tell me. First, I'll need you to help me. Don't worry. You'll enjoy it just as much as I will. We're going to destroy X-Ray and Vav. They've been trying to distract you from your mission. Those fiends. 
I knew the blue one and the green one were nothing but trouble. Yep. You'll need me to make this happen. But I have no power locked in here. Mogar will free you. Then we destroy those two colored people. Yes. <laughs> but let me do the talking. Fortunately, the plan has already begun. They are splitting at the seams, and soon we will rip them apart. <laughs> Oh, he's losing Thank again. You. That cell was so cramped. Oh, wow. Soon everyone will get what they deserve. <laughs> okay. So, the Bad King is now free, and he is basically trying to put... Uh, he tried to put X-Ray and Vav at ends with each other. So I, I kind of see what they're trying to do. They're trying to set up for this, the, the end because this I think this is the final season that they had X-Ray and Fab. I don't, don't believe there was another season after this one, but it's really good. Um, I liked it a lot. So that's it for today. So we'll have Red vs. Blue for tomorrow. I hope you guys and gals will be looking forward to that. And if you had, liked this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, Go ahead and hit subscribe up. Oh, and I forgot. I didn't do this earlier. I'm sorry. Love to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being the best part of my channel and joining me. And everyone that sticks with me, you are also everything that means the most to me. So thank you so much for tuning in once again. So I will see you wonderful people next time. Peace out.